What's going on everyone? It is Joe DeLongware and if you're planning a fall lawn renovation or a fall overseat and you don't have in-ground irrigation, then this is the number one item that I recommend. Obviously, if you don't have in-ground irrigation system, you have hoses running throughout your house, along your flower beds, you're hooking them up to sprinklers, and lots of times you want to be able to program these sprinklers so they can come on at different times of the day. And the number one recommended item out of anything when it comes to if you don't have in-ground irrigation is a water timer. So the water timer that I recommend the most, that I've had the most success with in my own experience is the Melnor water timer. This is actually one of my most viewed videos on YouTube. I actually do an instructional video on how to set it up, how it works. Go check it out. I'll leave a link below. I'm not affiliated with Melnor. I actually bought this four years ago. Four years ago, never had a problem. There are some tips and tricks to it that I do recommend. I also have a two port as well. But this thing is just, it's a lifesaver. If you don't have an in-ground irrigation system, you gotta get one of these things. In my opinion, if you're spending a lot of money on grass seed, you want to see that stuff germinate. You want to see that grass seed germinate. You got to keep that seed moist. A water timer, it's a lifesaver. You can set it up for multiple times to come on. That's what I love about this Melnor water timer. Obviously, a four port one means that there are four zones. What's great is about those four zones is you also have a four time limit that you can come on. So what that means is you can have it timed to come on up to four times a day, which is great for an overseed because you you want to obviously you're going to multi you want to water multiple times of the day so that's what's great about the melnor water timer you have your zones right here you have your four zones because it's a four port you have right here you have your cycles you have an a b c or d or four times a day you have a manual off and on if you see a spot in your yard that's a little bit drier or not and you want it to come on say you just you walk out in your yard and you see that spot and you want it to come on for like 20 minutes you can obviously switch it to what zone you want and you can have that come on for 20 minutes and it shuts off no problem. So we're on the side of my house right now, and this is the two-port Melnor water timer. Again, this one's four years old. I bought both the four-port and the two-port at the same time. I use this one on the other side of my house, uh, mostly until I hooked up my new manifold system for my sprinkler system. Now, all I really need it for is my drip irrigation for my garden, for my shrubs. That's on the one right here. That's what this one is right here. And then on the other one, um, we're getting a hopefully we're gonna be finally not have to deal with this anymore We're doing a pool renovation in the fall time the pool was always a wild card with this house My house was a foreclosure when we first bought it. We didn't open up the pool for the first year uh, It ran well for a while. We all we had to do was get a new pump filter But now finally the liners going we're gonna get new concrete work around it and we're dealing with a pool leak so with that pool leak, you know, we've been patching different areas that we see, you know, there, we don't really want to hire someone just to, you know, look at this because we know we're ripping out that uh, vinyl liner, getting in a whole new one, concrete. So what I've been doing is I've been just using my Melnor water timer to fill up that pool water level. Once I see it go down a little bit, I come out here. It's really easy to do. Like I said, it has a manual on off. I'll set it to the zone one because that's the hose that's coming out going to the pool. And I'll just set that to say like 15 minutes real easy to do you just hit the plus button once you get over to the 15 and then you just hit the okay right there in the middle it pops on it's on right now the water's flowing it's going to the pool and then the beautiful part of that about that manual on off is after that 15 minutes it shuts off automatically i don't have to come out here i don't have to uh, close the spigot off i don't have to do anything having a water timer is a lifesaver so one of the other things with the Melnor water timer is there is a weather delay. So say if you do get a rain, you can go out there, you can press the weather delay button and you can delay it as long as you want. So you don't have sprinklers going off when it's gonna rain or when it is raining, which is another great thing about that Melnor water timer. One of the only downfalls I will give the Melnor water timer as opposed to having say an app for like obviously if you have a regular sprinkler system is you have to calculate the times when they come on. So what I did was is I created an Excel file. I just put in the times for each zone, added a minute after the end of each zone. So I know exactly what time to schedule the next zone. So you can either do that on a piece of paper, you could do it in Excel, which is very easy to do. Uh, I recommend you do that so you don't have two ports coming on at the same time. You want one port to come on at a time that way you aren't losing any kind of pressure going to the different sprinklers so i definitely recommend that you check into that 
that's pretty much it for today's video. If you can grab one of these Melnor water timers, I know they're available on Amazon. I know they're, they are in Lowe's. I see Melnor all the time in Lowe's. I believe that's actually where I got mine was going to my local Lowe's. They had them right there in stock. Please, if you are going to do, like I said, if you're going to do a renovation, you don't have in-ground irrigation, get one of these things. You are going to thank yourself later when you don't have to manually turn on anything. You have everything right here in the water timer. And one more thing, if you're interested in that instructional video, it's gonna be linked below, go check it out. I highly recommend you do it. The instructions are a little confusing at first when you read them out of the box. I tried to simplify this in the video. It's it's actually one of my very first YouTube videos. So it's kind of raw footage. It's kind of, you know, it's not the greatest quality, but you'll get the instructions that you need. So go check out that video below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out with the channel. If you have any questions on today's video, make sure you leave it down in the comment section below. Let me know if you ever have used one of these before, how, what you thought about them, or if, you, if there's anything I missed in today's video, leave it down in the comment section below. And if you're interested in any of my other content, I'm available on Instagram, I'm available on TikTok, go check me out there. And like always guys, I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>